Now that we have our page scaled, we're ready to start drawing out our material for the project. The concept is simple. We're simply going to draw and trace right over the top of the plan images using these six measuring tools that are available for our use. So looking at our project, we see that we have some beams to start with. You don't have to start with beams. You can start with joists or other material, but for this case, we'll just start by drawing some beams. We'll choose the segment line, which is a two-point line, and we'll draw in this first 3.5 inch by 11.78 LVL beam. We right-click to end it, and over in the takeoff items list, you can see that what we've drawn has now shown up. It's material that we've drawn, but it needs to have some things assigned, like an application. What are we using this for? In this case, we're using it for a beam, so we identify it as a beam. But then the question is, what product is being used? So we select product, come to the product selector, and pick an inch and three quarter by 11 7 eighths LVL. Click OK, and that product is applied in our list. But there are additional settings that we can make over here in the digitizer. By right-clicking on the line, we can set the plies to be two-ply or different. And we can also set the condition of the member to be flush, so that as joists are added later, they interact with it accordingly. Now that we've made all those settings, we can choose the Draw More Segments Like This option and start to draw other places where we have similar beams in the plan. So here's some other locations where we were drawing three and a half inch by 11 7 eighths inch LVLs and we draw those out and notice over in the takeoff items list that as we draw them that those values are being added to the total number required. This last beam that we drew we knew was going to be a dropped beam so we changed its properties to drop no split but this change only affects that one beam while all the remaining beams on the page remain as flush. Over in the takeoff items list, we can still see our beam LVL that we've drawn, but notice the red circle with the white X. This indicates that we've drawn something, but it's not yet been placed in our list yet. We can resolve this by right-clicking on it, going to Pack, and assign it to the pack in our list that it belongs to, in this case, the second floor framing. And as we do, notice the red circle with the white X goes away, and that material is now in our list. If we come over to the Project tab and the List tab, we can expand the second floor framing pack and note that there is this material. It has been added to our second floor framing pack. And as we make changes over in the Digitizer, the changes will also be reflected in the list. To avoid having to assign every individual item to a list and pack, you can set the default pack for the page. Here I've set it to second floor framing. So now, as we draw more material and assign applications and products, those materials will automatically be placed into the second floor framing pack. For example, let's say we want to draw this 5 and an eighth by 21 inch glue lamb beam. We'll click a segment line up in the toolbar and click one end of the line and then the other to get our beam in place. We hit escape and over in the takeoff items list here is our item and we could adjust it here as we did before or we could come to the digitizer and make the settings there. We right click and choose beam as our application. For product we choose more products, click into the product selector and we can use the keyboard to filter our results to find the five and an eighth collection of items. So here we find the 5 and an eighth inch by 21 inch glue lamb. But as we select it, before we hit tab to make the selection, instead this time we're going to use the right arrow key on the keyboard and hit the arrow key to the right once and we'll see additional selections that can be made. These are attributes. So we'll select for this case the 24F V4 Doug Fur for our attribute to be added on to our glue lamb item. We now hit tab. Click OK and the selection is made. Finally, we also set the condition for this member to be flush since we want the joist to interact properly later. But notice over in the takeoff items list that our glue lamb has now already been assigned to the second floor framing. Again, this is because we set the default pack and once we assigned the application and the product, it was automatically placed into our second floor framing pack. 
So with our beams drawn, now we're ready to move on to drawing some joists.